In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, amen. I think all of us have anxiety to some degree. For some people, anxiety is chronic. They wake up worried, and they go to bed worried. For some people, they're anxious over things that other people would say, such things that don't deserve to be worried about. But even those other people have things that they worry about. Some people worry about money, and other people don't worry about money. But those who don't worry about money worry about their kids, and those who don't worry about their kids worry about their health. And those who don't worry about their health worry about their jobs. And those who don't worry about their jobs worry about their appearance. Worry is present, and it fills people's minds. And it doesn't take just one form. And it doesn't have just one level of intensity. Some people worry to the point that they can't live. They can't think. Sometimes anxiety increases to the point that you can't sleep. Sometimes anxiety increases to the point that you're not present. You don't have a sense of what you're doing. For example, you can't eat, or you eat without enjoying the taste. So this whole worrying thing is a problem. There is a strange commandment which people don't realize. Jesus said it in all transparency. He said, don't worry. There is a commandment that says that. When the Bible says, it is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me, the next question is, does Jesus worry? No, naturally no. Nothing at all? No, nothing at all. Does he worry about his health? Surely not. Worry about people? No. Worry about money? Of course not. Worry about tomorrow? No. Worry about yesterday? No. There is nothing called worry or anxiety in Jesus' soul. One time a guy asked me, is it possible for someone to live without any worries at all? I'd say so, yes, because Jesus didn't worry. If Jesus, who is the ideal example, then yes, it's possible. Because the Holy Bible that is in us is the spirit of Jesus. Is a lack of anxiety a lack of caring? Of course not. Jesus cared about his mission. He rationed his sleep. His time was full of things he needed to do, and he was accomplishing things. Lack of worrying doesn't mean you don't care. Separate these two things from each other. Lack of worry is peace, which is marvelous. Lack of worry is the relaxation of an elevated mind. Lack of worry is tranquility of the perfect soul. Let's dive deeper into this issue of worrying, because when we say the words, it is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me, it means that as Jesus lives in me more and more, my anxiety has to decrease more and more. And consequently, you all know the range of matters that you worry over and say, Lord, help me. I want not to worry. Let yourself appear in me because you don't worry. The passage in Luke chapter 12 says, If then God so clothes the grass of the field, which today is and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, so in the end, that beautiful flower you see, they will burn it, and the beautiful grasses that have no importance will get burned up. However, they're looking nice at first. How much more will he clothe you, O you of little faith? And do not seek what you should eat or what you should drink, nor have an anxious mind. The greatest issue causing anxiety among people in general is food and drink. By the way, we sometimes worry because the food is late. So the issue isn't even that there isn't any food. No, there's plenty of food, but sometimes we, the worry is where will we buy the food from? Nor have an anxious mind. For all these things the nations of the world seek after, and your Father knows that you need these things. But seek the kingdom of God, and all these things shall be added to you. Take note, Luke chapter 12 is similar to, to Matthew 5, 6, and 7. The same part from the Sermon on the Mount is repeated, but in Luke's chapters 6 and 12, which are the two parts most equivalent to Matthew. Let's come up with some passages that oppose anxiety so we can bring Jesus alive inside us and be liberated from worry. It will be a great blessing if we come out of this with the burden of anxiety being lifted from off our minds. Surely life is so much more beautiful without anxiety.